There are many important skills we value as a company at OGC. We discuss many of them through the hiring and onboarding process. For this session, let's focus on problem solving and what it can mean to us at our company. First, everyone can benefit from having good problem solving skills. We encounter problems on more than a daily basis. Some are more complex than others, but by knowing how to look at problems and react accordingly, we can be more efficient and resolve the issues in a more timely fashion. Poor problem solving affects all of us. Interpersonal relationships fail and businesses fail because of poor problem solving. You are right. This is often due to problems not being recognized or even ignored. We must realize that there are certain amounts of risk involved with either solving the problem or letting the issue fester and not solving it, which is typically worse. One of the issues we need to deal with is learning from our solutions. We may not always make the right decisions, but if we can learn from our past, we can prevent making poor decisions in the future. So what is a problem? The Oxford Dictionary defines it as a doubtful or difficult matter requiring a solution. You can also say the problems have two features in common, goals and barriers. OGC has many goals, and problems can affect how we achieve our goals. We must all understand the barriers that can limit our achieving the company goals. How are we to work through the problems to achieve our goals? There are several stages or steps involved. First, we have to identify the problem. We must see the nature of the problem and define it. Think of it as understanding the scope of the issue. Next, we need to understand the structure of the problem. There is fact-finding involved in this step. Good research skills can help us here as we determine a clear picture of the problem. We can also see how the problem affects our goals. The next step is to think about possible courses of action. We don't have to evaluate the relevance at this stage, so think of it as a brainstorming session. This may be best if we discuss the possible courses of actions as a group. Once we have identified the possible courses of action, it is time to down-select and make a decision on what is the best alternative. The decision-making process will typically involve your management team, but it is welcome for you to come up with potential solutions yourself to recommend to your leader. Next, we need to think about how to implement the course of action. What are the consequences and how do we make the solution the best way? Keep in mind that there may be more problems arise as we go through this phase. So it is important to carefully monitor the progress of our solution. The last phase is to seek feedback through the process. It is important to ask those who have been impacted if the solution is working or if it needs more work. Continual feedback from the stakeholders and customers is one of the most important feedback loops in the problem solving process. OGC wants all of our employees to be contributors in the problem solving process. Remember, it is okay to ask for help but it is also a good thing to come to your management not only with a problem, but also with potential solutions.